This is an excerpt from the audiobook of From Coping to Thriving, How to Turn Self-Care into a Way of Life, by Hannah Brame, from becomingwhoyouare.net. 23. Shavasana Needs, acceptance, closeness, compassion, empathy, intimacy, love, nurturing, self-respect, security, stability, rest, air, presence, peace, space, awareness, celebration of life, consciousness, and understanding. Shavasana, or corpse pose, is the last yoga pose in any practice, and the most important yoga pose of them all. In some kinds of yoga, such as Bikram, you get a mini Shavasana halfway through as well, once you finish the standing series of postures. Many yoga teachers say that all the bending, stretching, and breathing involved in the yoga poses is a warm-up. Shavasana is where the magic really happens. How it works. If you're not familiar with it, one form of Shavasana, the form we'll talk about here, looks something like the following steps. Although it usually follows yoga, we're not going to do yoga today, not the bendy, stretchy kind anyway, unless you want to, of course. We're just going to do Shavasana, because sometimes that's hard enough. How to do Shavasana. Lie down. Separate your heels until they're a few inches apart and relax your legs, letting your feet flop out to the side. Bring your arms, palms facing upwards, about two inches away from the rest of your body. Extend your neck so that your chin is slightly tucked towards your chest. This should be comfortable. If it feels like you're stretching, you've gone too far. And then breathe. Relax. Focus on your breath. Stay here for as long as you can, at least five to ten minutes. That's it. Why it works. That's it. Except that's not it. It's just the beginning of the pose. There's no more physical movement involved, but our minds are busy, busy, busy with thoughts. Even when our body is still and relaxed, our minds are still working. In Shavasana, you bring it all back to the breath. As I once heard a yoga teacher explain it, in Shavasana, you are calmly active and actively calm. Sometimes people fall asleep, especially at the end of a yoga class. If possible, stay alert. Notice your thoughts popping up, tapping on the window of your mind, and bring your attention back to your breath. Shavasana is essentially a form of meditation. Like meditation, we're training our minds, developing an awareness of our physical and emotional feelings, and focusing on noticing what's coming up while resisting getting caught up in our mind's stories or judging what's happening. I believe that when we start the day like this, we stand a good chance of taking that perceptive awareness forward calmly active and actively calm. If you enjoyed listening to this excerpt from From Coping to Thriving, How to Turn Self-Care into a Way of Life, you may want to listen to the rest of the audiobook. You can find it on Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. You might also like the author's website, becomingwhoyouare.net, where you can find more content related to what you've just heard from the author, Hannah Brame.